What's up, beginner strings? Hope you're doing well and ready to get working. Today, we're going to be going over songs 17 through 22 in the Essential Elements Book 1. Let's do a quick review. Check your bow grip. Is your right thumb bent? Are your fingers relaxed? Left hand, are you holding your instrument properly? Are your shoulders down? Are you relaxed? Song 17. Let's play together. This is what a G should sound like. Take a breath with me before you begin. Oh, one, two, ready? <gasps> Song 17 again. Just as a reminder, don't use too much bow. They're only quarter notes, so you should only be using, oh, I don't know, four inches of bow. One, two, ready, go. Song 18, Morning Dance. Now careful with measure one. We have G, G, F sharp, then open D. We have our first skip. Song 18, Morning Dance. One, two, ready, go. Before we play this again, let me just remind you, how hard do you need to push down to make the note sound with your left hand? My guess is it's not as much weight as you are pushing. Make sure to push down very lightly and only give it as much weight as it needs. Song number 18, let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. Next to song 19, Rolling Along. It's a classic. You'll probably recognize it as Mary Had a Little Lamb. But today we're calling it Rolling Along. Song number 19. Set your F sharp. This is what it should sound like. And here we go. One, two, ready, go. Song number 19, let's do that again. Check that F sharp. Relax all your muscles and don't forget to take a breath before you play. Song number 19. A one, two, ready. <gasps> Next up, we have Good King Wenceslas. One thing that makes this song unique is the fact that we can push down our third finger for G if you are a violin or viola, fourth finger if you're cello, and then you can hit the open A without moving your third or fourth finger. So try that. Try to play the G, keep that finger down, go to the A, 
And back to the G. You don't need to lift your left hand off if you're a violin, viola, or cello. Sorry, bass. Here's song 20. One, two, ready, go. Let's try song number 20 again. Remember to keep that G down as you're playing the A if you're a violin, viola, cello. Uh, we call this tunneling, and you will see this from time to time, like that little bracket underneath the uh, third note of the first measure all the way to the first note of the second measure. Let's play song 20 again. One, two, ready, go. Next up is Seminole Chant, song number 21. Now, I like to try to play this song as smoothly as possible. I like to think of people singing in a church cathedral, and it sounds very smooth. So relax that right hand. No space in between the notes. Play smooth. Here we go, 21. One, two, ready. Go. Repeat. Let's try song number twenty one again. Check your posture, bring that instrument up, relax every muscle in your body. 21. One, two, three, go. the very last song of the day song number 22 lightly row now if you're violin viola or cello try to tunnel those first two notes you have the open a but you can go ahead and set your f sharp set your f sharp and make sure your a plays cleanly song 22 oh one two ready go Play song 22 one more time. One, two, ready, go. job, everybody. You finished lesson number three. See you next time.